Welcome back to another Cruising the Rideau Canal video. Tied up here at the free dock uh, in Dow's Lake. Um, I was actually kind of depressed when we got here of how little there is in Dow's Lake. Dow's Lake is the center of the city. It's this big waterway. There's a, there's a kayak canoe rental place behind us, a couple restaurants. All of this is private. Like the lake itself uh, belongs to the city or parks can. I'm not 100% sure it is, but the pavilion, all these docks, it's all under the responsibility of a private company. And uh, yeah, they take advantage of you being up here in the uh, this part of the Rito where there's no other services for, you know, nothing upstream for probably a good 20, 25 miles at least. Um, fuel is a premium. Uh, pump out is a premium. Even if you want to get some water for your holding tank, they'll charge you 10 bucks for water. Now, we did get free water yesterday here because, you know, I bought $10 worth of fuel instead, which put about four liters, maybe almost a gallon for my American friends in the boat. If I was going to give them 10 bucks for water, I was going to at least make it worth my while and buy some gas. But yeah, um, privately run, very nickel and dimey. Um, the wall I'm sitting next to, it's two hours free. I just went over and bought a couple bags of ice. And I will say, actually, ice is what was a fairly decent price. Uh, an eight pound bag of ice was only four dollars which that's pretty reasonable actually considering where we are and the guy over there looking after it his very question first question to me was you're only going to be there less than two hours right and i said yeah yeah of course we're going he says okay he says because after two hours it's three dollars a foot for 24 hours so do that math i'm a 30 foot boat that's like 90 bucks plus taxes so yeah, um, like I said, there's a couple restaurants up there. Maybe if you go to one of the restaurants, they let you stay longer. I don't know, uh, which is a shame because Little Italy, I guess uh, here in Ottawa, is just like about an eight or 10 minute walk off my, uh, my right shoulder. And it's supposed to be just some of the most fantastic Italian dining you'll find in the area. But you'd be hard pressed to tie up here for your two hours free, wander over there, find the restaurant, sit down, eat and come back. So. Dinner at Little Lily might cost you an extra hundred bucks to, to tie your boat up. So yeah, I'm like I say, I'm very disappointed. Um, they're really taking advantage of the boaters over here as far as I'm concerned. And as far as I tell you, um, when it comes to cruising the Rito, I would say avoid Dow's Lake. I mean, it sucks as much as it does. The other thing I know with Parks Canada guy I talked to, if you look at your Navionics chart, Dow's Lake does show having an anchorage uh, with some decent holding. I talked to the Parks Canada guy at uh, Hartwell a couple nights ago about that and he told me there is no anchoring allowed in the lake because the whole lake is deemed a navigable waterway and you can't anchor in a you know anchor in the middle of a waterway channel because it's not it's not channeled marked or anywhere you see they're saying the whole thing is a channel so yeah there's no anchoring there either don't know what to tell you it's kind of depressing that way and the other thing uh, I'll throw some b-roll up here um the scenery coming up from Ottawa was beautiful and boy is it ever hot I can feel myself perspiring here the scenery is beautiful but we got stuck behind the tour boat the tour boat is a commercial vessel he has the right-of-way regardless of your upstream or downstream he has the right-of-way he will take it um he bullied his way around me uh yesterday we were coming down under the low pass bridge and i'll throw that video up here that uh, that bridge is you know it's pretty tight we had about four inches clearance i was closer to the bridge than he was i am the downstream vessel i have the right of way until it gets to the fact that he's commercial and he didn't slow down he just charged on forward and i had to just pull back into idle we kind of drifted a little stop and he went by me and didn't even the captain of the vessel doesn't even look at you he's just he is commercial he has the right of way he will take it be mindful of that. The other thing to be mindful of, the city is covered in bike paths, which is awesome. If you have your own bike with you, great. All kinds of paths to go where you want. A lot of the paths are shared pedestrian bicycle paths. There are signs everywhere, bicyclists must yield to pedestrians. FYI, they don't. Be very mindful if you're walking in a shared path. We tend to walk right, because the bikers, you know, the bikers ride left, so we walk right, or no, hang on, that's the other way around. Walk left, they ride right. You're walking into them. At least you can see the oncoming. Behind you, some of them will ring a bell, some of them don't. They'll just zip around you. Uh, a lot of e-bikes, a lot of scooters, the little electric scooters to rent here in town as well. 
they're not supposed to be using the sidewalks they absolutely do use them on the sidewalks so you kind of want to have your head in a bit of a swivel if you're going to walk on the sidewalks like i said you know walk into the oncoming bike traffic so yeah so that's it's really not a rant or anyways it may if it sounds like that i apologize it's just some words of advice of dealing with you know what can go on here in the city of ottawa it is a beautiful city take some time visit it you will enjoy it just be mindful of what's going on in your surroundings so you don't get run over by a bicycle or anything like that or gouged you know at a dock that you think looks free and all of a sudden you come back and there's somebody standing there with a bill on your boat for a couple hundred bucks for an afternoon dockage fee because you spent three hours and uh, went and patronized a uh, local business so hope you enjoyed it hope you found it informative if you did please like the video subscribe uh, like i said i'm doing a whole series of videos on the rideau canal so those of you looking at doing the great loop hopefully i can provide some uh, useful information to that and uh, i haven't recorded yet but i will and there will be a link above my head here i'm going to record just a general info video of uh, things to expect uh, books to have charts to carry um, information general things like that that you know just before you take off this a few things you should pick up so until next time thanks for watching and i will see you later